Hello there, welcome again. I am the NPD Gamer and I'm a mildly pissed downer. So I'm just a little bit, I'm not feeling too great today. Welcome back to LEGO Star Wars and uh, the boys in advance for those watching. The quality's not great today and uh, to be perfectly frank, if you suffer from any form of epilepsy, this level is going to give you a fit. So, word of warning. It's very, very flashing lights, colours, etc. It's also quite a long one, just watching it. So, again, sorry about that. And this bit just doesn't make sense. Oh, we're supposed to jump through the window, catch the robot, catch the droid. So much better if you have. The speed has not got fucking blasters on it. No movie. Doesn't make sense. Oh well. Could be worse. I suppose. I also find it... It's also kind of hard to keep track of where the speeder is. Where you are on, on this level. I mean, the camera focuses on... just narrows in on the... centered on the player, which is helpful, but... You're going through so many bits of cars and everything, it's kind of hard to keep track. Maybe it's just me, I'm, I'm not exactly the best gamer, I know that. But hey, sure it happens. How many times I told him to stay away from power couplings? <laughs> yeah, that bit of film. It's actually quite funny. Just going straight through the power couplings and getting jolted. I never had a problem with it. Probably should have mentioned on this level. Because it's so. It's fairly, the bits you end up attacking in are fairly narrow, they're all confined. Quite hard to actually uh, get a good angle of approach without getting yourself killed. Happens a lot to me on this. As you can see, I crash a lot. And do a lot of shooting. Which my recording didn't actually, hasn't actually uh, kept track of too well. It's actually quite annoying, but you know. Sure it happens. Again with the crashing and dying. I'm really not very good at this. I would make a terrible driver. It's really good thing that I haven't actually done, I haven't actually passed my test yet. About to go into another little section. We thought that Anakin Skywalker as a Jedi would have learned his lesson from the first time, but as he says in the movie, he is a slow learner.
That's more things. Maybe that's a really good idea to just fly straight into the uh, enemies that are shooting at you. Even on a layer there. It's not exactly the smartest of moves. But then I've never claimed to be the smartest of people. Okay, I tell you what, I have claimed that on occasion, but still not a good idea. I remember the first time I played this level, it took me fucking ages to actually figure out what the hell I was supposed to do. Those events confused me. Like, I, I admit I'm very easily confused and it threw me for sex quite badly. It should have done. It's a Lego game, they're fairly simple, that's the idea. Children, but you know. I was quite a thick child. Oh no, I'm still pretty thick sometimes. <sighs> I'll admit it. It's also yet another level which resulted in a lot of arguments and fighting with the little brother when we were playing it together. <sighs> and now for the final boss battle in the level, which is another mass of flashing lights, colours and distraction. If I suffered from ADHD I would be impossible. This would be completely impossible for me to manage. I've actually got, I think I've actually got some of the, uh, the actual this actual Lego set. I loved it. I loved actually recreating the uh, sequence. Oosh. I love recreating the sequence. Sorry, it was actually really really satisfying. Probably shouldn't have been, but it really was. It's weird, I know, but yeah, check it. Okay, he should be dead. That kind of lightning strike would probably have killed him. Even if it wasn't actually directly on him. Although it's quite nice to be playing as Old One Kenobi again. And as a Jedi Master. As Qui Gon envisaged. Envisioned. Rather. A far greater Jedi than Qui-Gon ever, ever could be. But not quite as good as he could be. I mean, if he'd been a better teacher, he would have been able to prevent Anakin from being such a... Well, such a prick, to be perfectly honest. Stupid obsessed child. No, oh well. Sure it happens. I have to say, these levels are incredibly good for... <sighs> Sorry. These levels are incredibly good for gathering studs. You can, it, especially when you got the uh, multiplier. Extras. You can get so many 
you, you can basically earn enough to, gr to buy all the best characters as soon as you've got one and gone through a level twice, maybe. If you know what you're doing, you got every single one of them. You can earn over a million studs in the space of 30 seconds. If that. They were clones merging information. It's actually quite amusing. Probably shouldn't be, but, you know, it is. And once again, these in this area, you've got turn the lights on to get a mini kit. It's a bit of a stupid principle, but it's actually quite funny seeing how many places you can find with that exact system. It's always six. Never eight, never four, just six. Doesn't exactly make huge amount of sense, but that's just me. Oh, that is a good idea to check out. Well. <laughs> Again. Sorry. Whenever you come into a, come in to a corridor from the side, it's always a good idea to check towards the camera. Because there's usually something good there. That's the about blaster. That's about the characters. The blast reflection. Really, really wish we could do that in real life, but you know, childish behavior, imaginings, dreams, etc. First time I ever did this, or tried to do this, a little bit. It was such it was such a challenge because I didn't realise that it was my proximity to setting them off. I know I'm really thick doing that again, but bear with me. I, I just I was a kid and I I tried jumping over them and hoping hoping that wouldn't actually set them off, but you know, it did. Or was that stupid? This bit also confused me a bit, because I didn't realise that you had to use the droid to shut down the valves, to actually close them off. It's been a good five minutes, first few times I played through this level, just dying repeatedly because I kept taking them out and not realising more keep going. Again, I know, quite thick, but I was a child. I didn't expect that to deal with that kind of thought. Admittedly, I don't. I don't generally think she can move anyway. But that's just because I don't know. It's a lot of effort sometimes. I enjoy thinking, but I don't do enough of it. Fight against Django, take one. It happens again later on in the later on in the storyline. You get to play some Ace Windu fighting him. And it's a lot more well, it's a lot longer than the uh fight is in the film. And it's actually quite fun. I mean, in the film they make Django out to be some kind of badass. He kind of um, he demonstrates his badass, his legitimate badassery to with Obi Wan, and it's quite impressive. But when he goes up against Mace, he's just a pussy. He dies really, really easy. It's actually, kind of embarrassing. 
in my opinion. And the greatest bounty hunter of the galaxy you've ever seen. And he loses to a Jedi that easily. Although Mace Windu was one of the most powerful Jedi in the Order, so I guess it's not that embarrassing or unexpected. <coughs> but, you know. And we're right again. I hate it when Django starts launching his missiles around because you're not expecting it, you've not got enough space around you when they hit. They go boom and you get hurt quite badly. Oh, that's the case with most missiles. <laughs> Sorry, that's the case with most missiles, I think. I should have tried to wake up a little bit before I started recording, shouldn't I? <laughs> Oh well. This show it happens. And Obi-Wan should be dead from that. And this is making sense. It lands on the feckin' thruster port. That tracking device is gone. Guaranteed. Well, thanks for watching again. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Thank you very much for your loyalty if you've actually been sticking around this far. No way. It's very much appreciated. And goodbye.